is not lost. The past lives inside us. Encoded in the double helix are the experiences of our ancestors. After three decades of research, our engineers have forged the cutting edge of biotechnological interfaces. We have unlocked the lives of our forebears. We have opened a window into the past. This is Total Immersion Entertainment. With the press of a button, you will experience the most pivotal moments in history. All from the comfort of home. Welcome to Helix. Where the past is your playground. Last of the heroic Knights Templar, Jacques de Molay was a man of principle, a towering intellect, betrayed by those he trusted. In this episode of Fallen Heroes, experience Jacques de Molay's final tragic hours through the eyes of one of his closest friends and advisors. Who's there? A friend of the temple. Fluarak, the council's message was absolute. You're not welcome here. I must speak with the Grand Master. He's in session. They all are. Another day, perhaps. King Philip disagrees. Damn you, man. Why you're not rotting in a cell at this moment, I cannot fathom. We are betrayed. Draw your swords, men. Defend the temple. Not you, brother. I have a different task for you. Come with me. Blue Phillips moving faster than we expected. Assassin's hands. Grandmaster. Go! Go.
Clement, hear me? Before this year is out, you will answer for your crimes before God Almighty! And you, King Philip, no punishment is too heinous for the great evil you have inflicted upon the temple! I curse you! Curse you to the 13th generation of your blood! You shall be cursed! flames of hunger and wrath. Thus came the age of true wisdom to a blistering close. The Knights Templar, once the proud shepherds of order, peace, and illumination, were no more. Yeah, let's get a sniffer running. If Abstergo pings us, pull me out. Okay. I have a visual. Hey there. This is probably disorienting, so I'll be brief. I'm Bishop, not my real name, obviously, but that's as much as you'll get today. Please listen carefully. Abstergo is using you, hijacking your neurons to help them sift through genetic memory data. These guys don't have their fingers in countless corporations, governments, media outlets, and NGOs. But now, they want control over history itself. If that doesn't frighten you, it should. But we're here to stop them, and I need your help. Deacon, preload gene sequence, 
uh, AD 16, B 13, I 87. Yep, spooling it up. Last week, we gained access to a bank of unsequenced memories in Abstergo's Helix servers. For now, we'd like you to experience a small sample. This should help you understand our struggle. And after that, you can decide for yourself what comes next. We'll be waiting. Anna. Can't I go with you, father? Courage, my boy. You wait just here. I will return when this hand reaches the top. That's forever. Not as long as all that. And when I get back, we'll see the fireworks. And Arno, no exploring, hmm? Yes, father. You're going to get such a thrashing. You know what the penalty is for stealing.
Do you know what the penalty is? Did you see their faces when we stole those apples? <laughs> I'm Arno. Elise. I'm here with my father. So am I. He has important business with the king. What should we do now? Shh. Listen. Don't worry. They'll never think to look for us in here. It was my fault. I'm the one who took the apple. Let's see where they're going. Monsieur Franklin, I sincerely hope this unfortunate affair does not darken your opinion of our nation. Monsieur, if we judge nations by the character of the Father, we should all be called. Come here, girl. Now. Father? Look at me. 